In this video, I'm going to show you how I installed Franklin Brass sliding bathtub doors. I will show you the issues that came up in front of me and how I took care of them. Before I started, I am using a file and the coin as a guide to shape the, the bottoms of wall jams to fit the round corners of my enclosure. Then with the help of a level, I'm finding the best position for wall jams and securing them with a tape. You may prefer to position the frame forward or back of center. For example, by moving the frame forward, you will slightly increase the depth within the shower area. Measuring the distance between wall jams and finding the proper length for the bottom track, then cutting it. Secured all elements with tape and made wall marks to drill everything properly. Apply a good amount of silicon sealant to the bottom surface of the bottom track along its entire length and then secured it with tape. Then screwing wall jams to the wall having wall jam bumpers on the bottom and on the top. The middle one has just a screw. Measuring the distance at the top to do the proper cut for the header. Placing the header onto the top ends of the wall jams. Inserting in header T-strap retainers and marking the wall jams to do the proper drilling. Placing back the header, the retainers, and securing them with proper screws. Marking the center point of the bottom track and drilling a hole to secure the guide on the bottom track. Now you have two door panels, the inside one and the outside one. The outside has the towel bar on it. So when you installing rollers, the metal, the nut side of the roller should be against the frame facing the smooth side of the inside door panel. And it's going to be opposite for the outside panel. I secured the rollers way too low. The door panels didn't touch the guide and were moving freely. To fix that, I moved the rollers all the way up and it fixed the issue. Unfortunately for me, there was another problem. The shower side of the enclosure was not parallel to the opposite side. I'll fix it later after installing the towel bar. For the towel bar installation, just insert uh, the towel bar brackets into the outside panel and secure the towel bar with four flat head screws. As you can see, one side is perfectly perpendicular and the shower side of the enclosure is not. Looks like the builders did a really bad job and I was not able to align the door panels with a simple rollers adjustment. I dig them to the drywall to find the sides of the acrylic enclosure. Using oscillating tool, I cut out pieces of drywall carefully because there is that acrylic enclosure that uh, needs to stay intact and some pipes behind the wall. So cutting it just to bear the sides of the acrylic enclosure. Unscrewing the acrylic enclosure and going down to trim that header while my cat is guarding everything that is left while I'm away. I inserted the wooden bar behind that troubled acrylic enclosure side to make sure that everything is leveled now and secured it with a screw. Made sure one more time that everything is aligned now. Then did my best trying to reshape the leftovers from the drywall as you can see, the adjustment was so significant that uh, some parts of the acrylic enclosure are now leveled with the drywall. Fixing the drywall with a speckling with a dry time indicator. Let it dry, reapply it, do it again, sanding it, painting it. 
And then, of course, assembling everything back in the same order and making sure it looks perfect. So that was my way of fixing the issues that came up in front of me while installing those sliding bathtub doors. Hope this video will be helpful to somebody that has same issues. And leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel if you're interested. And good luck with your projects.